And here is the writer's almanac for Wednesday. It's the 8th of May, 2019. It was on this day in 1541 the Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto came upon the Mississippi River. He had been a slave trader in Nicaragua. He had joined Francisco Pizarro in the conquest of the Incan Empire in Peru, became thereby a very wealthy man on Incan gold. He landed on the west coast of Florida, 600 troops with him, traveled across the Appalachian Mountains in search of gold and silver. Under cover of darkness, May 8, 1541, after building flatbed rafts, De Soto and his troops crossed the Mississippi River. He spent another year looking for gold, didn't find any, and died of a fever, May the 21st, 1542, and he may have been buried, we're not sure, on the banks of the Mississippi. The first glass of Coca-Cola, which originally contained cocaine, was sold for five cents at a soda fountain in Jacob's Pharmacy in Atlanta, Georgia, on this day in 1886. It was a drink that had been developed by Dr. John S. Pemberton, a wounded Confederate veteran, He had developed an addiction to morphine for pain relief. He was looking for a non-alcoholic cure for his addiction, and he developed a number of elixirs and came up with this one, Coca-Cola, which accidentally he mixed with carbonated water. The exact recipe for Coca-Cola is still a trade secret, but it no longer contains cocaine, just some caffeine. It's the birthday of Gary Snyder, San Francisco, 1930, a beat writer of the 1950s who went off to Japan and spent 12 years in a Buddhist monastery. Gary Snyder, who said, As a poet, I hold the most archaic values on earth, They go back to the Neolithic, the fertility of the soil, the magic of animals, the power vision in solitude, the terrifying initiation and rebirth, the love and ecstasy of the dance, the common work of the tribe. Today is believed to be the birthday of the great blues man, Robert Johnson, born in Hazelhurst, Mississippi, 1911, who in 1937 at the age of 26 recorded 29 of his songs over the course of two recording sessions, including Love in Vain, Sweet Home Chicago, and Mississippi Delta Blues. He had two photographs taken of himself around the same time, and those were the only recordings he made and the only photographs taken of him in his lifetime. He died the following year. He was 27. The rumor spread that Robert Johnson had met the devil one night at the crossroads, two highways, and sold his soul in exchange for his skill at the guitar. It's the birthday of Naomi Klein, Montreal, 1970, journalist who looked at huge corporations, Nike, Disney, Walmart, the power of their brand to sell an image as much as a product. So she wrote a book about it called No Logo, came out in 1999, became an international bestseller, a manifesto of the anti-globalization movement. Her latest book, On Fire, The Burning Case for a Green New Deal, will come out in September. And it's the birthday of Andrew Svensson, born in Belleville, New Jersey, 1910. 1948, he joined the Stratemeyer Syndicate, which produced popular book series for kids. They produced Nancy Drew, The Hardy Boys. Andrew Svensson wrote several books in the Bobsy Twins series, The Hardy Boys, Tom Swift, Honey Bunch, 
series. He also created three original series of his own, The Happy Hollisters, The Tolliver Family, and Brett King. Andrew Svensson said, The trick in writing children's books is to set up danger, mystery, and excitement on page one. Force the kid to turn the page. I've written page one as many as 20 times. Then in the middle of each chapter, there's a dramatic point of excitement and at the chapter's end, a cliffhanger. Here's a poem for today by W.S. Merwin entitled Footholds. Where I dug the logs into the rise to make the steps along the valley, I forget how many years ago. Their wood has dissolved completely now, disappearing into the curled slope, gone without my seeing it happen, while the green clouds of the trees have grown above their mingled shadows. Yet I set my feet down in the same places I did when the steps were there, without even thinking about them. Father and mother, friend upon friend, what I remember of them now, footholds on the slope in the silent valley this morning, Wednesday, with few clouds and an east wind. A poem by W.S. Merwin, Footholds, from his collection, The Moon Before Morning, published by Copper Canyon Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, the 8th of May, 2019. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>